could you please help us understand what uh, what is the situation uh, for alternative medicines, off-label medicines, and in particular, this Leronlimab? But particularly for this drug, Leronlimab, this has passed. It's the only therapeutic to have passed a phase three trial for critical COVID-19, meaning to say those patients who are fighting for their lives, mm -hmm. this is the only medication that has shown to have a survival benefit. And I'm talking about a significant survival benefit. The initial, the initial evidence for this drug came, as you remember, in 2001, we had a SARS epidemic. This okay. is a country such as uh, China, Macau, Hong Kong hit Hong Kong really bad. Taiwan, it spread to Europe and Canada. Eventually, it was contained. But after, after, um, after that year uh, of uh, that epidemic, there was a lot of research into the, the uh, disease progression. So they found out that there were two phases of COVID disease. One is the virologic phase. The virus is present in your bloodstream and you have all the constitutional symptoms of the virus. Body aches, fever, cough, uh, body malaise, and uh, stuff like that. But the second, the second, there's a second phase of the disease. It's an immunologic phase, wherein your immune system goes into hyper uh, vigilance, if you might call it. And they, ironically, it it's it does not attack the virus itself, but it at, starts attacking itself, your body. That's the reason why you have patients who have, who go into a phenomenon we call acute respir uh, uh, acute respiratory uh, distress syndrome, where in your lungs fill up with your own body fluid, and essentially you're drowning in your own body fluid. Can you explain this in layman's term, uh, the efficacy yes. of this uh, medicine and the cost of this medicine? Yes, the efficacy, as, as I said, is uh, quite remarkable. We have an 82% survival advantage in the, in the, in the, when I say critical, Sito, these are the patients on the, on life support, on a ventilator with cardiac, with cardiac, uh, uh, medications just to keep your heart running mm -hmm. many there there was a remarkable uh, case report from the uk of a man being on ecmo ecmo is extracorporeal membrane oxygenation means yeah. to say a patient cannot breathe with just a ventilator because he has already flooded his entire lungs so yeah. what we do is we connect the patient just like as we connect the patient uh, for open heart surgery to a heart lung machine but mm. in this in this uh, in this instance it's called ecmo essentially it's just a heart lung machine it's a yeah. machine with an artificial lung that breathes for the patient this patient in the uk was on ecmo for 16 plus days he already had signed a um, uh, he was already given last rights and the uh, they had to go to court just to have the map administered under compassionate use in the UK. Mm -hmm. Surprisingly, five days later, after the first dose, the patient was off ECMO. He was breathing on his own, but on high flow oxygen. Nine days, uh, this was after, this was four days after the second dose, four days after the patient was off oxygen. So this is remarkable, um, and and this is the thing. One thing that uh, uh, had never been asked me was, what's the safety profile? Yeah, I I have a document in my possession right now. I had to sign a non-disclosure agreement because it's the document from the HIV trial. It's a five thousand document that that examines just the safety profile of the drug. The reason why it's so long is because many of these HIV uh, patients on on the trial with Leronimab were on Leronimab for even more than five years continuous. There was no death associated with the, with the administration of the drug. 
the, the side effects or the adverse effects that were listed were just nine. This was nine out of 900 plus patients. And the nine uh, adverse effects were ranging from injection site irritation, headache, um, two patients had uh, diarrhea, and one patient had something we call a precancerous skin lesion called actinic keratosis. So those were the only um, adverse effects that were listed. So it is extremely, extremely safe. The safety profile is very, very good. 